a, a lovely message of courage and confidence from Archangel Gabriel. And it's like, um, you know, when Michael comes in, it's a strong feeling of protection. When Gabriel comes in, it's it's more gentle, it's more inner child, and there's a bigger focus on joy. So it's like, um, how can you infuse joy into that thing that scares you, into that thing that you're procrastinating about or you're resisting? Like I, I have a book to finish this summer. I have that put aside for August to do. And, you know, it's it's so that's just one example. But think of an example that you might be putting off. What is where could you infuse a little bit of joy, a little bit of fun in that? Um in that activity or even if it's just going live you know so for me even to come live so it doesn't feel like work i'm barefoot <laughs> so even if i'm at work i know i work from home but i usually put some makeup on if i'm going if i have client calls or i have group calls or whatever generally i will get dressed i will put some makeup on obviously i get dressed put some makeup on and um you know have good shoes i always ha have good indoor shoes so even though I'm at home and I could be in my slippers, when I'm live, I'm in good shoes. So it feels that I'm working. So for this to work, for me to show up and just be relaxed because it's a Friday afternoon, I wouldn't normally be working. I've just said, right, I'm just going to keep this really fucking relaxed. I'm going to kick off my shoes. I have my shoes down there and I'm, I'm, sitting on, I'm just sitting on cushions and I'm just chilling out in the sitting room while I'm doing this to make it fun to make it fun for me to make it enjoyable so think about whatever it is that you've been putting off that you've been procrastinating on and tell me in the comments in the chat how you could bring more fun into that hello hello everybody joining me hi allison just sit down to and jo julia how are you just sit down to check my emails and yours popped up Woo brilliant so tag anybody that you think needs to be here we'll be talking Spiritual business, transformation, healing, whatever is going to pop up. I'm happy to answer your cards. I have my beautiful deck of angel cards here. Archangel messages for a new earth. Go to the website if you want to be on the wait list for the next print run. So I have a few things coming up. First of all, every Friday I'm going to be going live, except for next Friday, funny enough, because I'll be in Ireland doing a VIP day. But every other Friday, in the whole month of July, I will be live here in this Facebook group for about an hour, coaching and cards, answering your questions, supporting you in your spiritual business. So if you want to put that in your diary, 3 p.m. UK and Irish time, I will be in this space answering your questions. For, so that's about four Fridays in July. So brilliant. I hope that is supportive for you. So the VIP days are sold out for the moment. The next time I have some, I will let you know. I'll, you'll get an email. If you're not on my email list, go to ashlingmooney.com forward slash free. You'll get some free resources there. You can sign up for them and you're on the list then. Um, so the VIP days are sold out at the moment. There is a couple of online VIP days. If you, you're interested in them and you want some more information, just send me a PM and we can sort that out. The one-to-one -one quantum summer offer is has just started. I launched it yesterday. Um, and that's basically, I wasn't planning on doing it, but a lot of people inquired about, they didn't want a VIP day, they wanted some solo session. So I did this last year and I loved it, but I wasn't planning on doing it again, but I've just tuned in and I've opened up um, about 20 spaces over July and probably the beginning of August. And, and that is it. I don't know when I'll open that again. So if you've been waiting to work with me and you're looking for a more affordable way, you just want to book a solo session, you can go to ashlingmooney.com forward slash one, two, one. So the number is one, two, one. And when you go to the checkout, when you want to book your quantum session, that brings you to my diary. You can pick the dates and time that suits you. And at the checkout, you put in the code summer and it will automatically go to half price. OK. So go and do that for yourself. If your time zone doesn't match with the times and days that are available, reach out to us. So either send me a PM or message Jessica, my assistant at team Mooney at gmail.com and she will find the, the nearest available appointment for you with it with, that suits your time zone. But do make sure that you book an appointment and then reach out to us. Um, you need to have an appointment booked so that we can change it then on the calendar. 
So that is it. What's next? Yes, yeah, so that's ashlynmooney.com forward slash one two one. You can book your one to one, your quantum healing session, read all the testimonials, um, have a look there and feel into it. They are incredible sessions. You've got to be ready for change, you've got to be ready for transformation, you've got to be really ready to take action and implement some steps in your business. So yeah, okay. <laughs> the Angel Cafe is in August and we're looking for speakers. I haven't got the exact date yet, procrastinating on that. Uh, I'm just looking at holidays and I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out it could it was the last third week, but I think it might be the last week. So we're figuring that out. But as soon as I know, I will let you know here and I'll let you know on my email list. But we are currently looking for speakers. They're 30 minute slots and it will be an event over about three days live stream in this Facebook group. So if you're interested, if you've done it already and you loved it, it is time to come back for another year. And uh, if you're scared about doing it and you haven't done a live stream before, this is a perfect opportunity. It's a beautiful, loving, wonderful community and space to, to launch yourself, you know, to, and your products and services and your healing work out into the world. So I would strongly, strongly recommend that you use the opportunity to, to, to join the Angel Cafe. It's a charity event. We raise money for our local charity. It's free to attend um so yeah so reach out send me a pm if you're, if you're interested in that or or you want to get on the email list and that is it my darlings we are ready to kick off so we have let me see say hello to everybody again sherry claire catherine tracy allison julie Anne, catherine pretty hope i'm saying your name right love dervila hello hello everybody so Dervila has already put in a question, so I love that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, Pretty, Pretty has put in a question. So what I want you to do, if you want me to pick an angel card for you, ask me a question. Be as specific as you possibly can. So get clear on if you if you want if it's a question about your spiritual business, tell me about your spiritual business because that will be the next question. I'll say, tell me about your business so that I can give you a clear response. And um, don't assume that I know, and I know lots of you here, but maybe I just won't know what your specific business is right now, it could have changed. So let me know what your business is, and then let me know what your question is around that. Of course, we'll also have healing questions, whatever, you know, life, relationships, <laughs> working with kids, you know, having a business and, and having a family and whatever else, we want to bring into the mix today and the angels want to bring in um we have archangel gabriel and we have all of our angels i can feel michael and i can feel raphael so there is going to be some healing on this call so and just even if you don't get your answer your question answered specifically know that just by being here you're, you're getting some guidance you're getting some healing and you know this might ignite something that will affect you and your dreams and your insights, your daydreams and visions in the next uh, seven days, I would say, seven to 14 days, your angels are saying. So watch out for what comes through. Usually there's a theme in these sessions and people tend to ask similar questions. And so, so they sort of build on each other. But I would really um, yeah, encourage you to just physically be here and, and listen carefully and, and just trust that you're in the right place and that you'll get your answers, your questions answered. Okay, my darling. So, uh, Pretty, please let me know if that's, if I'm saying your 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 name correctly, my darling. Uh, is it Pretty? Is it Pretty Gupta? Uh, so I can ask, I'm looking to start an online business. Is this the right path? As I'm getting so overwhelmed with it and need to gain focus back uh, with it, any guidance. It is big. It is a big deal to start an online business. There's no, there's no easy path. Um, there's so many aspects, you know, between when you, when we think about a, a business, there's so much involved in it and uh, whether it's create an online program and, um, you know, create an online program. Will I do one-to-ones? Should I go online? Should I work in person? And um, so there's, there's a lot to think about. Should I see if I can make my business, like I never recommend that you make your business pay the bills in the beginning, 
So if you can possibly go part-time and get some uh, part-time work supporting you as you grow this business. Um, and the other piece, and this has really come up over the years for me, if I was to go back and do my business again, I would probably build, semi-build my business on one-to-one -one sessions, whether that's online or in person. I would probably, I, I jumped in, I did some online and then I jumped because my kids were really young at the time and I didn't have a lot of time. I was working part-time, I didn't have a lot of time. So I just jumped onto online courses and working with groups. But I now see the joy of working one-to-one -one and the consistency that that can bring. Um, so I, I, would, I would focus on those two areas. I would advise you that if you can get some part-time work so that you can not make your business pay the bills in the beginning while you're building this and you're figuring it out. And I would also create, start with one offer and offer that one-to-one -one in packages preferably. So like this solo sessions that I'm doing now for July, this is rare. Normally my one-to-one -one sessions are all parts of packages or VIP programs where I'm working with clients or groups. So it's rare for me to do solo sessions. So uh, because it's more enjoyable to see people make progress, I can make more of an impact because if somebody signs up for six sessions in a VIP package, you can see the, I can see the difference and I can see the transformation for them. And it also gives me consistent income over that time where I'm selling something once, I have a commitment from that person, we're gonna to work together. And that gives me a consistency that I can keep in touch with them and I can, I can, we can create a, let's say a three month goal and we can work towards that. And I can give them all of the resources and the support and everything they need to get to that goal. Um, and so solo sessions, they're, they're great. I love them. I love just to reconnect with, connect with people that don't want a full package but they are, it's a different energy and, and it's very one-off. Um, and, you know, I, sometimes that's all I, I need. When I have, um, I have my own healers and, you know, coaches and people that I go to, I know there's one particular healer that I reach out to every six months and have a call with her. And she usually, she's not online, she's not in this space, so she doesn't know anything about me. So it's a wonderful relationship. She just gives me exactly what I need. But working with a coach, I'd want some consistency in that. So I've gone off a little bit. What I would say to you, Preeti, is to focus on one-to-one -one, um, packages to start with. And then from that one-to-one, -one, you can build up into a group. Now, I don't know if you've got the same advice or where you are in your spiritual business. If you want to write in the comments what your spiritual, what your spiritual business is, what exactly you're going to be doing. And that's where I would focus on. I would focus on what are the packages? What, what's the one-to-one -one package that I uh, could do right now? There might be lots, but I would pick your favorite one. The one that uh, you most enjoy and that people get the deepest transformation from. If you go to ashlingmooney.com forward slash abundance, there's a free training there that will help you to get clear on who you're here to serve, the transformation you provide, and help you uh, price that transformational package. It's, it's a free course. You can go and you can get that. Just go to ashleymoon.com forward slash abundance for anyone that wants that. Um, Preeti, it is time. It is time. This is the number one card. It's the beginnings. It's Archangel Nathaniel, and it's a new earth, light worker. It's your time, evolve. So it is, time for this business it is it is time for you to launch it it's a beautiful time generally of the year we're in summer it's yang energy it's outward um the other thing that's coming through and this is for anyone that is creating any sort of a package whether it's one-to-one -one, whether it's group whether it's a book whatever it is that you want to sell or share or enroll people in um there are two levers. I was, I was explaining this in uh, my Ignite program for spiritual authors the other day. And I was saying to them, there's actually about three levers. <laughs> One of those levers is admin. <laughs> admin, customer service, the finances, all of that. That's one lever that you need to pull in your business. But there are two main levers. 
So that other one is sort of the foundational back one. Um, and it's one that most light works avoid. I avoided it for years, only when I had to put my tax return in that I scurry to get it all together. So thankfully I'm out of that pattern now. And I'm every three months now I have to present something to my accountant. But that is one lever that we need to work on. But then there is two other levers that we need to be pulling all the time. So a lot of light workers, I see them in create in delivery mode. And that is creating content for the clients that you have um doing the live sessions and the calls for the clients that you have and and while that's brilliant it's only one lever so delivering to the delivery to the clients that you have is one lever there is another lever and that is client enrollments so and that's one that needs to be running all the time and that is generally your free stuff so this session that i'm doing now is completely free i'll be doing them for the whole month of july they're completely free. You can come on here. You can ask me a question. I will pick a card for you. I'll give you some advice. I have lots of free resources on my website. You can go, you can download them. You can have a look. That is my um, enrollment lever. And the way that works is it's like I'm sending a net out to anyone that wants to jump in. So anyone that wants can come to this call. And then I will tell you what I have available. So I just told you at the beginning of the call, the offers that I have available, the one-to-one, -one, the VIP, the, uh, the Angel Cafe is coming up. I told you about the things, the opportunities and the, and the offers that I have. And from that big net, there will be a few people that will put their hand up and say, yes, I want to work with you, Ashling. So, and they will jump into the client delivery where I'll do a one-to-one -one session or they'll enroll in one of the programs. If they want to write a book, they'll jump into Ignite if they want to build their first online package, they'll jump into the Abundant Heart program and so on. So, so this is a strategy that you can use in your business. So whatever you want to, uh, however way you want to work with clients, you need, that's one, only one lever. And I don't know how, which hand, I forget which hand I was using. <laughs> Two levers that you need to be pulling all the time which is client delivery and client enrollment. And then obviously in the background, you need to be taking care of all your admin, your customer service and your finances. But now is the time. The short answer to your question is yes, yes, yes. Push on through my darling, now is the time. And for anyone else that that message resonates with. So Catherine, you were here last week, love, and I didn't get to answer your question, I don't think, so I'm gonna answer it now. Uh, finally announced a price increase, good girl, for my emotion code access bars. Will be a big jump for the emotion code sessions that involve a lot of other tools and takes longer. Feeling a bit scared and nervous and can I have a card? It's overdue. Okay, my darling, well done for taking the leap. And what I found is um, it, takes, it takes just one person to sign up. So when this this is in that course that, that i know you've done this already catherine but sometimes we forget uh the abundance course abundance masterclass the pricing piece how i recommend that you increase your prices is is rarely to just say tomorrow i'm increasing my prices so hopefully if you haven't done that but more use it as an opportunity to get yourself more clients so I, if I was in your shoes, I would be sending out an email or a Facebook post or whatever it is, whoever you contact your audience, and I would be saying prices are going up. So even if you've already put them up, but if you want a, a little bang, bank of new clients, you can say um, prices are prices have gone up, but I forgot to let you know. Um, and I just, for the next three days, um, you can book at the old price. And, It'd be better if you had a package in there so at least you have a little bit of client commitments and it will be it will be better because they'd be more likely to sign into the higher price program afterwards or or higher price packages so it's absolutely right just make sure that you have a little bit of strategy around it so that you're not just um you're not just i put up my prices and then you're just waiting for somebody to come so you need to be telling people that you put up your prices and the easiest way to do that is to is to you know let them sort of uh, introduce it as a sort of a sale. 
So for you as a valued customer or someone that's on my Facebook community or on my email list, um, you can still get these, uh, get a package, buy a package of three at this old price. PayPal button, book now and whatever. So that, that's what I would recommend this is for you, Catherine. That's a lovely card. I'm going to pick another one just to make sure. Ooh. Okay, so there's a couple of messages. So the, the first one is, if somebody buys from you, I know it can feel exciting. It can, it can feel validating. If you're like me, you love approval. <laughs> Codependency No More. That's a great book by Melody Beatty. Melody Beatty. Um, uh, but it's like, um, do your best to not let it mean anything. So uh, if somebody buys, don't let it mean anything. If nobody buys, don't let it mean anything about you, your self-worth, the value of your work or your packages. Um, if something doesn't buy, if people don't buy something, it's never about in my opinion, if it's a really good product, it's never about the product. It's always about the packaging. So you haven't got clear on who it is that you are here to serve. So you put in there my emotion code access bars. So I would love you to just take a moment, Catherine, knowing that there are people here that could avail of your services and very clearly tell me what these sessions are, who these sessions are for. So I know they're for everybody, but I would really ask you to just think about who is it that you absolutely love working with? Is it women? Is it kids? Is it entrepreneurs? Is it women in corporate? Is it mothers? Um, is it people, women your own age? Is it, who is it that is your favorite, favorite client? And, and be brave and name it. So instead of just calling it access bars or emotion code sessions, I want to know what's in it for me. I want to see myself in that. So in my case, it's uh, my offers are for spiritual entrepreneurs who want to make money from their healing gifts. So it's like, if that's you, you know that, I'm the person to come to for packages and resources. The Ignite program is for spiritual entrepreneurs who want to become authors, who want to go through a VIP program to go from idea to finished book. The Abundant Heart Program is for spiritual entrepreneurs that want to get the first program or package online. They've been struggling to make money, get clients, get clarity around who they're here to serve. So it's very specific. It's not just a coaching program to create a course, you know, or a coaching program for light workers. It's very specifically for light workers who are struggling. So for you, it's this name, the person I work with, these sessions are for this person, name them. Who are struggling with name the struggle um, and who want uh, and name the transformation so if you go to that training again trying to put a new email address Catherine and do it again love literally do it again over this weekend it will take you an hour and a half and you'll get a, a revamp of the whole thing but the other couple of messages that are coming through for you is that um, Archangel Ariel practice grounding spend time in nature and Archangel Raziel, clear out old patterns and start fresh. So the energy of these two cards is saying, time for a complete fucking fresh start. Literally declutter, cleanse, clear, um, you know, that could be clear out your offers. It could be clear out your phone, digital detox, clearing out, clearing out old clients, clearing out old, uh, offers that you have i don't know if i said that but um it's just a massive clear out and it's a fresh start but we need to be brave because it's very fucking easy to fall back into old patterns it's god very very easy to just go back to what we know and do the things that we know and not take ashling's advice and not fucking take the time to get clear on who your client is and what the transformation is that you provide and because when you know that Every time you go, you know, you're pulling this lever, this free lever, and you're offering something there, whether it's a blog or a live stream or a video or um, whatever it is that you want to offer, Facebook post, 
um, that you're when you're pulling this lever, this free lever, it's very easy to enroll people into your paid programs because uh, you're very clear about what you're offering. So, and I, I would just say that I know what you do because I've seen you do it. But if I didn't know you from Adam, I, I wouldn't have a clue what emotion code and what access bars means or what that means for me specifically and how that would help me on my healing journey. So I want you to be really brave about this because I know you're avoiding it, Catherine. I know many of you watching this are fucking avoiding this because it's easier to do what you've always done. It is harder to break the pattern and to decide, okay, I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to um, take the time and do something different. You know, so I'm in the process now of um, creating a new program. To do that, I have to create a bank of my ideal clients, uh, what they're struggling with, what the transformation is. And although I've done this a hundred times, I'm going to have to do it again with this specific offering that's coming up soon. And I don't want to do it. And I could quite easily jump ahead to the next steps. But I know that by taking this time, and it's for me, it's over this weekend, where I'm going to sit down and create these files that I can upload then so my team know where I'm going. Um, another example would be I, uh, a team member created a graphic for me this week, and I realized, oh, hang on a minute, we need to revisit the branding it's, and a branding pack. So I need to be able to give uh, my team member and say, when I ask you to create a graphic, please make sure all of these elements, don't give me uh, lavender, it's deep purple. Don't give me wishy-washy washed out gold, it's a deep gold. Here's a sparkle that we use. Here's the geometric shape for the logo. And it's like, and here is the font. I only use one font ever in all of my graphics and things. It just creates that familiarity. So it's, but unless I, put that unless I take the time to create that doc the next time somebody does a graphic it's not going to be what I want either and the next time after that it's not going to be what I, what I want either so I have to take that time to be specific and you have to take that time to be specific about who your audience is and you need to do this for every offer package service that you have on your website in your toolbox everything that you offer you need to start with who the focus is for what are they struggling with and when they take this package or program, whether it's free or pay, what is the transformation that this provides for them? What will happen when they do that one-to-one -one session? What will happen when they take that three-month VIP package? What will happen when they jump into that um, program? Everybody needs to do this. If you're not doing it, it's business 101, business basics 101. You need to go back to basics. So I hope that resonated and I hope that you are going to commit doing that this weekend Catherine uh, hi 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 everybody just joining us just decluttered an area love it very good very good well done I was specifying that as the emotion code price is jumping higher yeah I've announced the increase well done offered book and pay now to secure the very good well done okay so you need, if you can just tweak a little bit and get it a little bit clear on who these are for, get brave about it and um, and the transformation that you provide, that would be fantastic. So hello, 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 everybody that's joined. So Alison, Alison, are you still here? If you are, let me know and I will pick a card for you. Otherwise, I'm going to jump on to the next person. So just give me a heart, give me a thumbs up if you're here, Alison, so that I know that you're here. Otherwise, I'm going to jump on. So let me see. Is Catherine here? Catherine Skeggs is the next person in line. Oh, Alison is here. Okay, Alison, I'm going to go to you first. So, Alison, I would love a card about my spiritual business, midwife, spirit baby, intuitive, and a new spiritual tool for ancestral healing to support the incoming souls, some guidance, and possible TED talk. Okay. So what is your question, my darling? Uh, your question is, is your question about you want to, you want some guidance about how to, to do a TED talk on all of those topics? Is that the, is that what I'm, oh, what I'm uh, understanding from that? Oh no, I've just lost all the comments. 
Let me see. Comments. Oh, there they are again. Thank God. Guidance to do a TED Talk. Do a TED Talk. Alison, go do a TED Talk. Of course, love. Why not? Why not? So if you're getting guidance to go and do a TED Talk, then go and do a TED Talk. So what I would do is I would, and I, and I picked a card for you, so I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you uh, the angelic vibe as well, but I'm just stepping into practical spiritual business coach for a minute. And I'm just, um, I'm just saying everybody here who is a spiritual business owner should have their signature talk. That would be a great program for me to create, actually. There's an idea. There's an idea. Who would like that? Let me know if you'd like that. But everybody should have in a file, in a doc, your signature talk. And there's um, specific steps in this. There's 25 specific steps in this process. I mapped those steps out in my program called Spiritual Webinars for Lightworkers. Um, the same applies for a, for a webinar as it does for a live session. So, and there's 25 steps, I'm not going to go through them all, but um, like the gist of it would be introduction um, and then you would set the perimeters of what's coming up and then you would jump into your story, a little bit about you, a little backstory about how you were before and then bring us up to, sorry, a little bit of how you are now, the services and things that you offer and then jump into a backstory of how you weren't like that so that we can start to see a little bit of contrast then you usually deliver some content so that can be three tips seven steps uh, four pillars whatever it is something around your specific healing process so they can be the amount of steps and then um your next steps for your audience so which is beautiful transition into your offer what you offer and what's available so that's the traditional sort of curve of a webinar, of a talk, um, with a strong call to action at the end. So like a fast track. So jump in now and you get this extra webinar or you get a discount or you get this extra bonus or whatever. Um, so that's the trajectory. So I do it a little bit different now over the years. I've changed that slightly, but more or less what you're doing is you're giving this presentation and then throughout it you're seeding in stories client stories and how you've worked with people that is applicable you need to get clear on what the offer is and um, that you're offering before you jump in and do any sort of content so it's like um starting with what you want to offer at the end so i said i'm going to do a live stream today ask me anything angels uh, or, or car cards coaching and cards but i'm very specific that i am going to tell you about the one-to-one -one spaces that i have available limited 20 spaces in july they will start to fill up pretty quickly and um, how i only offer these the last time was last summer where i did them <laughs> so if you want them you need to jump in quick i told you about that i had some vip days available and I told you that the Angel Cafe was coming up in September. And I told you that I'm going to be live here every Friday in July. So it's like uh, I'm, I was very specific before I came on this call that these are the things I want to talk about. These are the offers I want to share. So and then I, I'm here delivering free content. So it's like before you create a talk or before you decide to do something, think about what's the end result. And then you will base your talk around that. So obviously, if I'm uh, enrolling clients now in one-to-one -one and I'm looking for spiritual business owners, I wouldn't be coming on doing a live stream about uh, heart healing, you know, which I could do. So because it wouldn't be specific to that audience. And, you know, I really want, I don't just want to work with anyone in these one-to-one -one sessions. I want to work specifically with light workers where i can really make a difference in helping them get their message and get paid for their healing gifts i don't want to just do general sessions 
you know, I could, but I, do, I don't want to. So I'm, so the, the talk is geared, the presentation that I'm doing now is geared towards the, uh, the end result, which is to, um, this month I'm enrolling 20 people in one-to-one -one sessions, solo sessions. So that's what I would say to you, Alison, is to go back, is to figure out what it is that you're enrolling people in, what program package, it might be to sell your book, it might be to one-to-one -one consultations, it might be to add them to your program or your membership or whatever it is that you have available. And then you will follow those tips that I gave you, those steps. There's about 25 specific steps in, in um, uh, webinars, signature talks, but everybody should have that. Every single one of you should have that ready so that you can literally take it off your digital shelf and run with it the next opportunity that comes up. So I've said to you, the Ninja Cafe is open. You should be like, no fucking problem. I'll just pull out my talk or my three talks for three different audiences and I'll just um, do that. So for example, me in the Angel Cafe, I'll be live for three days. The first day I'll be opening and I'll probably do angel cards. The second day I'm gonna talk about uh, spiritual authors and probably the third day I'm gonna talk about spiritual business. So I have three specific talks that I have done a million times for those three specific audiences and, and with three specific products and services at the end of it. So I hope that's helpful, Alison. Is that making a bit of sense? Now the card that came through for you is Archangel Gabriel. So, and it's, you are birthing a new age. Look at that woman. Uh, she is about seven months pregnant, maybe. And uh, she's very serene, very relaxed, very in tune with her body, preparing for this birth, not rushed, not hassled, not running around like a headless chicken trying to fit everything in. She is just managing things and is just in, in blissful uh, waiting for this baby to arrive. And I just think of my two pregnancies and my first one, I had no in Brazil. And I literally, that was it. I was literally in my bikini <laughs> for most of the time because it was 40 degrees heat when he was born. He was born in February, peak summer, Mardi Gras. And um, Emily, on the other hand, was born when I was back in Ireland. I had a business, I was doing a college course and I already had a toddler, four year old running around. So it was a completely two different experiences. So um, what, I'm, what this message is coming through for you, Alison, is, uh, and I touched on it with Gabriel in the beginning, is find the joy and um, don't make it a big deal. Oh my God, I have to do this TED talk. Oh my God, it's gonna be difficult. I have to book a piece, speak in public and all of the things that you dislike and might dislike about it. Instead, Start with joy. Holy God, I'll be able to speak to loads of people all at once. I'll be able to share um, these stories, my story, the transformational story of my business and that I'm working with clients. And I'll be able to share it with so many more people than I am. I'll be able to sell um, so many more copies of my book and get that message out there into the hands of people that really need it. And this is such an amazing opportunity uh, for you, Alison, and it's totally the next step. And you need to be preparing for this now because she's seven months. So in two months time, if it hasn't happened already, that you've got that opportunity, it is like it is coming and you need to be ready for this. So I would have a talk ready. I would be practicing that talk. I would be practicing that on, on the kids, on the dog, walk in the park, <laughs> practicing it. So it just becomes second nature and I would be tweaking it, and if you need slides, every I would have it all done now, right away, because things are gonna get very, very busy. Like this woman, she's relaxed, she's calm, she has time, two months time, bang, new baby in the world, <laughs> everything changes, especially when it's your first kid, <laughs> you're really not expecting it. Um, so it's, so I hope that's useful, I hope that's all making sense, and for any of you that have not got your, your signature talk done, this is a call to action for every single one of you to get that done today. Do not think about it too much. You can speak this into a doc. You can literally give yourself a few pointers, everything that I've shared, go back and watch the video again, watch all those pointers and um, uh, 
go for it. And then come back in here and say, did it, Ashley? But you can use uh, Google speech to text and you can literally speak it. So you can be walking around the park and you can be recording or use a speech to text app on your phone and go and, and get your signature talk ready. We should all have it ready there. Okay, so I got a bit confused with the yeses. So if anyone would like some sort of a training around creating your signature talk, write a why so that I know that that's different to the other yeses that are there. So I hope that's useful, my darling. Uh, give me some feedback there, Alison, about that. So let me see. There was another message, but I've missed it. So if you want to write now your comment, your question. So if you want me to do a training on that specifically, um, but why? I might do a live stream in July specifically on that. Um, so anybody, if you have a question and you want me to pick a card for you, post your question in the comments now. Keep them specifically for spiritual business. This is who this session is aimed at, to support spiritual business owners. Of course, we can talk about everything, um, but I would really love that this uh, conversation, we build on this conversation that we've already kicked off today. So you can repost your question right now in the comments, and the next question that comes in, I will answer it. So yes, Alison. I just need to do it. I'm gonna explore how to get a TED talk, but you can also just do that spiritual talk anyway, and it doesn't have to be on TED. It can just be on, it can be for a podcast, interview. It can be, you know, ask your angels. It's just like, okay, I'm, I'm doing this talk, and TED talk or this or something better, and ask the angels to guide you to where this is needed. So, Catherine, please can I get a quick card? My question, yes, please repeat it. Uh, I've only just become aware of the life stage transformation I help people with. People know I can guide a small group in person, but would like advice on how I can guide more people. I want to help people find... Uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting lost. Uh, I want to help people find how to do this service for themselves rather than a done-for-you service. I feel I'm being called to speak to groups and show them how to help themselves don't know what I would offer from the stage. Okay, can you please tell me what your transformation is, who the audience is, and what the transformation is that you provide, Catherine? Because I'm a bit confused. What is your spiritual business about? What is this offer about? So you've all people know I can guide a small group in person, but I would like advice on how I can guide more people. So you've just got advice there about creating a signature talk. When you have your signature talk, TED, you can do your own videos and put them on YouTube. You can do a live stream with that talk. You can come and do the Angel Cafe and share your um, healing gifts with an audience of three and a half thousand, four thousand people. <laughs> There's a, an audience for you, for everybody. Um, you can reach out to podcasts. You can go onto Google and get a list of podcasts that are specific to your audience. So if it's spiritual business owners, you could do that. If it's uh, women in business, if it's mothers uh, and parenting, go and put into Google podcasts on mothers and parenting. And every one of them that come up, reach out to them and say, hey, no, I'm available as an expert. This is what I could offer you uh, in, in your podcast. This is what I'm happy to talk about. I think it would be great for your audience. I'm available to talk. So it's, so you can reach, I know a lot of um, coaches use that one specific uh, strategy to reach huge amounts of people. So I was talking to a coach there um, last year sometime and uh, she batched, so she had back to back to back interviews, like six podcasts in a row. So she literally would go out and say, I'm available for to be interviewed and then would get these back and they would fit into her diary and she would do back-to-back -back, um, interviews for podcasts. And they would go out to all those different audiences and then come back to her audience, obviously, and then opt into some of her offers or buy her books or whatever. So podcasting is a great way to use that signature talk. So I'm not getting any more clarity. And um, Catherine, uh, oh, here we go, okay. 
So the people I reach out to are transforming their lives from full-time worker or full-time parent or retiree and empty nester. I help them show their life is not over, but is an opportunity to start a new fulfilled life. Love it. Brilliant. Love the transformation. Well done. Um, okay. So the easiest way to sell something, the, this is uh, research or whatever in marketing, is three categories. Love, money, or uh, wellness. So health and fitness. So if you can if you can be even more specific. So if you so instead of a phone filled life is it, like it really get specific about describing what that life will it um give them more confidence will it will it will they be healthier will they be happier what will they heal what will they need to let go of will they have a better structure will they be able to start a new business um just really have a think about go a little bit deeper. That course would help you if you haven't already got it, Catherine, on ashleymoney.com. It's free if you want to do it. But let me just um, pick a card. So there's a couple of um, there's a couple of cards coming through. Okay. Oh, so I love this. So I love what you're doing, um, uh, Catherine. And I think that... Um, that like podcasts, live streams. Um, if we go back to the very first card that came out, what the hell did I do with that card? I must have losing it. I must have put it back into the deck. The first card that we brought out, what did I do with that? Was uh, time to be visible. Let's get visible and um, let yourself be seen. That was the exact. A message from Archangel Gabriel and it's like uh, we can have the best idea in the world the best package the best sales page the best um, books the best services but unless we're willing to get out there and be visible in the world and tell people about uh, what we have available uh, nobody's going to show up at, on your website or you know Amazon for example um, one of my programs is helping authors. So I have 10 people in there at the moment. There's one place if anyone wants it. It was designed for 11. So there's, but there is 10 authors in there at the moment um, writing their book. And by the end of this year, they would have finished writing their book and some of them will have even published. Um, but Amazon, something like 80,000 books are published on Amazon every single day <laughs> from around the world. Like, thousands upon thousands of books so it's one thing about writing a book and popping it up there there's a whole other that's the delivery remember those two levers i talked about that's the delivery so you're creating this content to be delivered to whoever um, wants it uh, and needs it in the world but unless you're pulling the other lever which is the enrollment part which is the strategy your business strategy your marketing strategy your promotional strategy and calendar you're having a big launch and a big party Nobody's going to find that book. And unless you keep talking about it, nobody's going to find it. My, I have book sales um, uh, on Amazon whenever I talk about my books. There's the two of them. That's the book collab. It's the Phoenix Rising. And the one up on top is Angels Are With You. It's going to be re-released in February. But it's available on Amazon. It's only when I specifically do sessions or live streams or, or emails and I tell people about the book um that i see the sales spike otherwise if i don't speak about it nobody really buys either of those books and the same with my courses the abundant uh heart program i haven't really spoken about that a lot in the last year because i've been transitioning in business so the sales have gone down for that and um, so it's like you can create whatever you want but you need to be prepared to get out there and to share and i love the theme that's going on in this call at the moment about getting visible, getting your signature talk ready, doing, um, reaching out and getting on podcasts and being available to be interviewed. And, you know, so it's, you can, you have the, the beauty here that you can create whatever you want. You can work with whoever you want, 
but you've, that's only one lever. You've got to be pulling the other lever, which is enrollment, which is visibility, which is a, a, a proper business strategy or promotional strategy. Maybe that might be one of our live streams. We can talk about that as well. Um, so the two cards that have come up for you is Archangel Uriel, a sign from above, and Archangel Sandalf on. Trust yourself, you're a powerful being. And I just, these, these two messages are saying, uh, this is a brilliant idea, uh, Catherine, but every absolutely fantastic idea, well done, go for it. I'm glad you've got clarity on that. But there's also, uh, you need to take action now. You need to uh, take the next steps to get visible. That might be sign up to a coaching program. That might be book a solo session with me and get some extra guidance, you know, book your own session. Um, but this card here is, see the feathers dropping down? There's all feathers dropping down and it's a sign from above. So it's like your angels are leaving breadcrumbs for you to follow. And they won't give you the full picture. They're not going to give you the, this is where you are and this is this is uh, the end result. What they're doing at the moment is giving you breadcrumbs. So showing up to this call today was maybe one breadcrumb. You got some the next piece of information, the next piece of action. Oh, I've got to get my talk ready. Oh, I've got to create some sort of a plan, a strategy to do a live stream or blog or reach out some podcast or whatever it is, pull a flyer up in the local shop. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the olden days. That's what I used to do. And it still works in, in, in a lot of the time. If you want to, if you live in a local area and you deliver uh, sessions to people locally, then why not put up a poster in, in the local shop, the spa, the centre and whatever. But it's, so your angels are going to leave you breadcrumbs and it's just follow the next step. And then once you've done the next step, it'll be the next step and then the next step and the next step. So you're being guided and watch out for that, but really act on at least one, if not three of those strategies that I've given you already in this call, my darling. Give me some feedback. Let me know how that's resonating. Uh, Laura, you're next. I'd like some guidance on how to take my coaching to the next level and some guidance on my love life as well. So love life is sit down, get a piece of paper. Um, I can only do one question. So is it going to be business or love life? Let me do this quick. Love life is uh, dream bigger. Archangel Shamuel, have a really big dream. Um, and I'm going to say sit down, get a piece of paper, write on that piece of paper all of the qualities you want in this lover, this person you want to call in. On the other side of that piece of paper, sit down <coughs> and tick <coughs> everything that you're already given to yourself. So if you're looking for somebody that's generous, where are you being generous to yourself? If you're not, you need to start doing that. If you're looking for somebody that's outdoorsy, where is that part of your daily routine or weekly routine? If it's not, you need to start putting that in uh, or maybe make a bigger commitment to it. Um, I want somebody who um, is a great cook. <laughs> Just making this up. Um, are you looking after yourself? Are you eating healthily? Are you treating yourself to really good and quality ingredients? And is your fridge um, full of beautiful food at the moment? And do you have a recipe plan for the week? Something like that. So it's like whatever, whatever the person is, that list that you want to attract, you've got to then mirror that those qualities and you will literally be a magnet for that person. That is it. That's my strategy for love. And I've given this out a hundred times. And probably a handful of people have actually taken the strategy. And this fucking works. Literally, it can, I've seen it work with one client literally within a few hours. It, and so much so that she jumped back and was like, oh, hang on, I'm actually not ready. <laughs> so, um, and I would also just going to take this into your business. Guidance on how to take my coaching to the next level. And um, this card is about dreaming really big. It says time to dream big dreams. So... My feeling is that you're coaching, you're not, uh, you're not seeing the big picture of it. You're stuck in the day to day and maybe one package or service. And there's, there's another layer deeper that you need to go. And I've, I don't know if you came on the call, if you just came on the call or you missed it, but I've talked an awful lot about 
going back to, to the drawing board, even if you've done this 20 times, like I am this weekend, going back to the drawing board, I have a new offer out and it's like, who is it for? What are they struggling with? What's the transformation that this provides? Why should they join, you know? So it's going back to that. But in your case, there's something about, there's a, there's a bigger vision needed. There's a zooming out of what is, instead of my coaching practice, what's my legacy? What's the impact that I want to have? When I'm no longer here, you know, that's a really good zoom out. When I am no longer here, in 50 years time, let's say, when I'm no longer here, what what would what will have been my impact, my legacy? What do I want to leave behind? Is it one-to-one -one coaching packages or is it to create a difference in the lives of a million women, men, kids, animals in the world, whatever it is? Like like really big vision here. What is the what is the empire that you are building? that will not fall uh, when you when you pass, that will be strong enough, that will have solid foundations and will be an actual business. A lot of entrepreneurs leave a job and go and create another bloody job. You know, they don't ever or reluctantly step into that uh, role of CEO, digital spiritual CEO of their business. And, you know, I play one role in my company. I am the face, I do the live streams, the talking, the coaching sessions, but there are so many other roles in my business uh, that need to be filled and that need to be paid for. You know, all the tech needs to be paid, all the finances need to be paid. So it's about, so I need to, this is not the Ashley Mooney show. It's, uh, it's my business empire and what it is that I'm building and the legacy and, and that, um, dictates where I'm going to spend my time and what I'm going to uh, focus on for the next, you know, for me, it's, I'm thinking the next 25 years, 30 years, what do I want to focus on so that I can really leave that legacy? I want to impact millions of people. I want to change the paths um, of millions of light workers. I want to empower and put money into the hands of heart centered people that will make that fucking care about making a difference on the planet and will make a difference. So I want to have massive impact, have a big, big vision. And I think this is what this card is saying for you is, Laura, what is the big vision there? And I strongly recommend if it's if it's calling you to go, go and book one of the solo sessions. You can go to ashleymooney.com forward slash 121, the number is 121. When you hit the checkout, put in summer and it will be, you'll get a half price quantum session. There's only 20 of them available. And they're for the month of July. If you want to sit and we tease this out and we go really big and deep together, let's do it. It's there for you. And if you don't, that's okay. It's it's just it's there, and I'm just letting you know that it's available. Okay. Let me know how that resonates. Did that support you? Did it uh, was a helpful Laura post um, on the two aspects that you asked? Okay, Dervila is next. So Dervila says, I'm feeling drawn to helping people transition from this life to the next. When I was 18, 27 years ago, I had my last rites and uh, near-death experience. All I want is to bring peace to others that they may, they won't be afraid to die, that may be afraid to die. I don't know how or where to start. My finances are in the pits right now, so I don't want to come from that needy space and also feel bad about even charging for it. Right now, I work with an online beauty company, so I'm not shy to go live. <clears throat> this is something that makes me feel very vulnerable. Is this the path for me? So, Devil, uh, straight after this call, I want you to message me because I have a video that I just watched this week. I cannot remember the person's name. Just cannot remember her name, but she's a healer. She's in her 60s and she's had, she talks about a, a near death experience that she had probably around her 20s and how it changed the trajectory of her life. So that might be really good for you to watch that. And I'd also recommend that you get a book. Um, the author is called Betty Eady, E A D I E. And I think the book is called Into the Light. Or something like that something light 
And she writes about two near death death experiences. So I'm going to say, Derva, that if you have you you have some income coming in with the beauty business, and um, hopefully there's a, there's some income coming in from that, and uh, I I'm going to say um, that you should consider writing your story. You, sh- you should consider writing it first, and um, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say that you should consider writing it, putting it into a story form and and just talk about all of the sentiments that you're putting in this, that you really want to help people. You know, um, there's another author that you might like as well, Anita Morjani, uh, The Right to Die, I think she calls, I think her book is called. And uh, she's a Hay House author and she writes about a pretty miraculous near-death experience where she literally was dying from uh, uh, cancer and hadn't, like she was, all her family was there. She literally died and had this near death experience and came back and completely cured herself within a few weeks of the cancer. It was like a miraculous recovery from somebody that was, um, oh my God, I'm so warm here, really warm. Um, so I would, I would say go and broaden your your knowledge around the subject and you know you've had this experience but go and um, see how other people are sharing their stories not to compare not to say oh my god they had a better experience than me or a different experience than me that doesn't matter it's more to give you the courage to see Oh, okay, so it's okay to share my story because I feel like there's a bit of vulnerability there and I can I can sense the fear around it. And I can also see your angels have brought you here to this call to, to get the energy from all of us. This is a group of light workers, so you can't come into the space without being healed or transformed on some level or receiving whatever the, you know your guardian angel has literally brought you here. So Every single message that's come through today, hopefully is giving you some insight and guidance. But I would start with writing your story. And the next step from that would be, maybe it's a book. So I wouldn't um, I wouldn't give up your day job if you have some money coming in, or if that beauty business isn't bringing in enough. I don't know what, if it's, you know, if it's not bringing in enough, it could be time to go and get a part-time job or something. Um, but I would say get get yourself some consistent income coming in. I mean, there's a whole beauty business here we could talk about, online beauty business, but I'm just not sure if the business, is it your beauty products or, or is it network marketing? Are you selling somebody else's beauty products? Um, there's a whole, there's different nuances within that, that, that question. Um, so without knowing what your business is and not being able to advise or guide you, I would say, they get something that brings in consistent income, whether it's two, three, four, five days a week, whatever it is that you need to do to bring in consistent income to meet all your needs. And I'm calling that in for you right now. Um, could be something new. Could be something new. And uh, and then start writing your story on the side and start practicing or considering what it would be like if you start talking about the story live. So yeah, because it is vastly different. You might have done live streams before, but it is vastly different. And um, so this is just like it's like there's a few steps. There's a few steps to get. So unless until I um, unless I know a bit more about you and what this business is, um, I can't give you a lot more information. But the card that's popped out for you is Archangel Azrael. It's time to see through the illusion, and this is your message. So. Azrael is one of the biggest angels. Azrael is the angel that helps us with transitions, birth, and death, passings, life transitions, divorce, separation, the transitions that we go through naturally as we grow. It's a big, big energy, this angel, big, big energy. Azrael comes in the, the energy of um, white, black, and gold. They're the colors of this angel. I often see Azrael with 
very big black wings and this sort of golden light. Very comforting, calming, soothing energy. Um, in backflower remedy terms, for anyone that has uses essences, that would be Star of Bethlehem. Well, that would be Azrael in the bottle, that would be Star of Bethlehem, the comforter. Um, also helps us to connect with our loved ones that have passed and helps us to connect with the spirit realm. Um, and that's just so many gifts and healing for each and every one of us. And we can connect with Azrael anytime we want in our lives. We don't have to wait until we're going through a transition or the ultimate transition from moving from this plane to the next, from this planet. Um, Azrael is such an amazing, incredible angel. And uh, you've chosen to work really, really deeply with Azrael, Derbala. Like you're literally, he, this angel is walking with you. So it's it's a big one. It's a it's a big life path. And I would say, and there's there's big lessons and learnings on the way. And I would say just make sure that you are financially supported. Um, this is a three year transition that you're going through. So we're in 20, 24, so it'll be 25, 26, 27 before you're really fully standing in your power with your story and you're starting to you, you'll have you'll be working with clients before that you'll have written your book way before that you will be doing interviews and podcasts but it's all going to be little builds up but in three years time you're going to look back and go oh my god remember Ashton said that to me <laughs> I'm here I'm the author I'm speaking to thousands of people um, and I am making a difference in the lives of you know it's coming back to that big vision for your life what's the big impact that you want to make and then you know, the path to reach the top of the mountain is a thousand steps. We take one at a time. We can only, we can't do five at a time. We can only do one at a time to get up that mountain. You know, if you're going on a trek or a walk, you can only take one step at a time. So that's all. So there is, there is big work and you're stepping into that definitely, but one step at a time, going back to that idea of breadcrumbs. Okay, my darling. Oh, so there's a lot there. And I would recommend for anybody that it's resonating with, if you want, if somebody wants to write this in the chat for me, it's www.ashlingmooney.com forward slash one to one. You can book one of those few sessions that I have available in July. I would love to go deep on our work here today and uh, yeah, really talk about how I can help and support you in your life, in every area of your life and your business. That is it. That is all we have time for today, my darlings. I hope this was useful. I won't be here next week because I'll be traveling. I'll be in Ireland. I have a VIP day on the in Dublin on the Friday with uh, uh, this virtual business owner. I'm really excited about that. And I I'll be with family then for the rest of the week. So I won't be available next week. But two weeks time then. So two weeks time on a Friday. And then for the whole month of July, I will be here Friday lives to support you in your spiritual business. But um, yeah, and that's it. And any authors, if you want to support to write your book, obviously it is an investment. The Ignite program, um, because it's pretty one-on-one. -on -one. There's lots of... Um, there's a Facebook group, there's lots of support in there. There's a whole program to follow. But if you want to go from idea, you're ready for that, you want to go from idea to finished book by the end of this year, reach out and let me know. We can have a chat and see if it's a fit for you. All right, my darlings, loads of love. Thank you so much. Share this with anyone that you think needs this wisdom today. I hope this was useful. Bye bye.